news out of Savannah this morning. Savannah police say they are looking for a suspect in a hit and run that killed a woman. WTOC Shay Schrader is live at that scene now. Shay, what can you tell us about that search so far? Yes, Aria, the Savannah Police Department hasn't publicly named any suspects, nor have they said what kind of vehicle that they are looking for, but we do have some information that I've been able to gather on scene. Now, this took place on West Congress Street, and right now West Congress is shut down between Barnard and Whitaker. That's kind of on the southwest corner of Ellis Square, right across from uh, Sorry Charlie's. Now, witnesses on scene tell us that this did happen around 3 o'clock this morning. I'm going to step out of the frame right now and just give you a look at this scene as it stands right now. So here we are a couple hours later and we still have forensic units on scene. You can see behind the forensic units that there are evidence markers on the ground. I can tell you that the scene has died down a little bit. I've been out here since around five o'clock this morning and the number of police officers that have been here on scene has decreased throughout the morning as they are likely wrapping up this investigation. I do now want to give you a look at uh, what the scene looked like just around 30 minutes ago. We do have some video here. Again, you can see those evidence markers. You can see that the police cars were all lit up, so it was definitely uh, still an active scene. Now, we have very limited information right now from the Savannah Police Department. Again, all they have said is that one woman is dead, but I did speak to yeah. witnesses yeah, on the scene and my uh, photographer. They believe this started as um, actually an altercation in a bar in the area and that it actually actually spilled over into the outside and that they think that the hit and run may have actually been intentional and not accidental. Now again, this isn't information that we have confirmed with the Savannah Police Department. We will be working to confirm that with them. Uh, but for now, we are just kind of hanging out on scene and waiting for it to clear up a little bit. Uh, when the Savannah Police Department does announce any suspects, we will be sure to bring you that information. But for now, live in Savannah, Shay Schrader, WTOC News. And WTOC is going to continue to keep you updated. Just like Shay said, we're going to do that on air and online. So stick with us for the latest. And now for.